viel Zuschauer, herzlich willkommen zu Inside Wall Street vom Parkett der New York Stock Exchange. Eine Woche voller Daten liegt hinter uns und wir haben Arbeitsmarktdaten gesehen. Bei mir ist Ben Willis of Albert Wright Company. Ben, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Ben, on Friday we saw the number of the week maybe. It was the unemployment rate and data. 162 new jobs in the month of July and the unemployment rate 7.4. So the rate is a little bit better, but the, the jobs are disappointing. Yeah, the jobs were tapered, but the, the headline number, the 7.4, is the political number that the, the politicians will be allowed to talk about. So that's the positive number. It was the, the expectations of Wall Street were for a number much better than 165,000, somewhere north of 200,000 was the whisper. So what I would say is the, the stock market was anticipating a real shiny new bike for Christmas. Instead, we got socks from Kmart. It's very disappointing. It is. It's a nice gift, but disappointing nonetheless. So the market sold off on that. Maybe President Obama should uh, work a little bit more on uh, the on this issue. Many people are saying since the Fed is starting with uh, with their QE program, nothing really changed. Right, and I, I'm sure the president would like to work more on it, but evidently he can only work part time. Those are most of the jobs that were created in this number. It was a great deal of them are part-time numbers. So it was, again, the, a lot of the United States likes to take shots at other countries that massage their numbers. We massage this number pretty, pretty well with the, particularly what we call our participation rate. But I, true, I believe, going more to your point on, on the, our own central bank, I think they've done an outstanding job. We were in entirely uncharted territory. We faced the next Great Depression that the world had ever seen, and Ben Bernanke took the reins based on his economic background and study of the Depression and changed the direction. Was it perfect? Probably not. Why did the United States become an equity holder in banks? I don't know to this day. Probably never will. But going forward, this is also the idea of the tapering under the Fed chairman now. Before he leaves on January 31st, I believe wholeheartedly that you will see tapering as part of his design to put his fingerprint, final fingerprint, on this whole project. After all we saw, now do you expect the Fed tapering this year already or is it starting next year? I think it started because I believe jawboning, the, just, the, just the central bank talking, is in fact a tapering the same way we saw Draghi do it in the European Union he may he moved markets without doing anything specific he just talked about it that's what the the fed did they started to talk about it they they tempered and tapered the market's expectations i fully expect the tapering to begin in september i can be a majority of one i don't care i'm comfortable with that but i do believe we will see it very shortly And other uh, economic data were positive this week, so maybe a good reason also for the Fed to taper. Absolutely. We use the, the, the old phrase that the glass is half full in, in the economy. The glass is half full, it stopped going down, and the, the economic data we're seeing is saying the glass is starting to refill. So that's why I think you can justify tapering and the stock market rising the way we've seen it over the last few months. Another big topic is the earnings season at the moment. What do you think about this season? Are you disappointed? Did you expect better numbers? I'm not disappointed. I, I'm not a, I look at the earnings season more as a macro effect, and this is traditionally one of the weakest seasons of the year because nobody, it's not, nobody's really busy season, so to speak. So we knew, and the bar had been lowered dramatically. I mean, the, the ex earnings expectations for this quarter from last quarter were much higher than they were. They were lowered after first quarter earnings came out, and so we were tempered and tapered in that ex expectation. So not a surprise. You saw some stock-specific earnings that were pretty dismal, like Caterpillar Tractor uh, and all that went with that and other people calling it a short sale. So we saw a market of stocks on earnings more than a stock market. When, what do you expect for the next week? So next week we don't have so many economic data. The earnings season is almost over. Is it like a summer break? It is a summer break. We, there's, there's some economic news out of China for something to grasp onto. After that, it's fairly minor until August 21st when we get the federal, uh, the FOMC minutes. Again, that, those generally are not a big mover anymore because of the, the, the post uh, conversations they have with their meetings. And then the Jackson Hole, which is a conference of the Federal Reserve in, in the United States. And that'll be interesting from a political perspective to see who's jockeying for Mr. Bernanke's job. But other than that, very slow. So for the next weeks, what do you expect? Are the markets like stable, not moving, much higher, much lower? I have been looking for the correction that's never come. I mean, the, the biggest correction we've seen is about 3.5%, not really technically a correction. It's been a dangerous 
uh, play because, quite frankly, you're looking at the very big picture of, of money flows. The money is, in fact, leaving bond and fixed income investments and going into stocks. It seems to be mo parking in the money funds short term before it comes into stock. That's a difficult trend to, to discern. So I would say unchanged to slightly better, but actually hoping for a correction. Which sectors are interesting for you at the moment? I think the tech sector at Albert Fried and Company, we are seeing a, a significant uh, interest in the techs, in the consumer durables, like the autos. We had Toyota on Friday report much better earnings. Ford, Chrysler, all repetitive. Rep so that, that's an interesting in the industrial side of the equation. Uh, and the financials. The financials, you have to, again, be very careful because it, they, they became a, a market of stocks. So I still like the regionals more than anything else, but the tech seems to be a place where a lot of people are willing to take some risk. And the Dow Jones in the end of next week, lower or higher? Can I say unchanged? <laughs> I, would, I would have to go based on the, the trend that we're seeing. It will be higher. Maybe not a great, great deal, but higher. Ben Willis of Albert Freud Company. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Und Ihnen, liebe Zuschauer, danke fürs Zuschauen. Bis bald hier vom Parkett der New York Stock Exchange.